Dr. Ben Bigman, Dairy, the perfect food for growth, and in nature, the best proteins come with fat. Dairy is the perfect food for growth. And that's why Mama Mammal makes it for Baby Mammal. It really is unique. To my knowledge, and I bet this is a, a, an informed enough group that I'll, I could be corrected if I'm wrong. I think that milk, which is you know the, the purest form of dairy, I think it is the only food that is high in all three macronutrients. And so it's sort of roughly kind of across the board. And that, I think that's kind of a fascinating situation where the body is designed to to have this perfect cocktail to, to fuel the growth of this little baby as rapidly as possible. I think it's quite, quite beautiful and fascinating. I'm a grown human. I'm done. So I personally don't drink milk, um, uh, but, but not for any other reason, really. I just think, all right, nuts got a decent amount of sugar. I don't need that. I don't need to grow in that regard. And all three macros are certainly a good recipe for growth. I'm very favorable to my kids drinking whole milk. Um, I am personally more interested in fermented dairy um, uh, where the, the, the bacteria have done their magic and bacteria like cancer cells love sugar. They love glucose. You cannot get a bacteria or a human tumor. In fact, despite the debates, it's never human tumors to use anything but glucose. Uh, so, so I will then take, I love cheese, although I find like uh, a little goes a long way. I have to moderate how much I eat. And, and actually that's about the end of it for me. Um, but we have dairy in the home. Now your question though, dairy and insulin resistance. Um, no, there is in fact evidence in humans to show that whole milk adults are metabolically healthier than those who are drinking skim milk at least. So that's sort of a milk to milk comparison. Uh, but in general, uh, I think someone could overdo it on milk. You could certainly overdo it on yogurt because a little thing of yogurt has as much sugar as a pint of Ben and Jerry's does. For Typical flavored yogurts are low fat and high sugar. Some have as much as 30 grams of carbs. There are some great exceptions. For example, Siggy's Triple Cream and Icelandic Scar. They have as few as six grams of carbs. In, in nature, protein always comes with fat. If someone is looking at a protein that doesn't have fat, one, we've either stripped it, we've, we've robbed it of, of the fat, like with whey um, supplements, or two, like a plant protein that doesn't have fat. Well, it's never, it was never really a protein in the first place. If you're getting your, now I know this is, this is the right audience to say that to, but plants don't give protein. Uh, it's animals that give protein, and, and those are the best by any possible metric for humans. And protein always comes with fat. Not only does the fat help you digest it better, Sean, this is one of the more fascinating discoveries I'd made looking at digestion. Um, it is that bile acids actually facilitate the proteolytic enzymes in the intestines. And we'd always traditionally, we look at bile acids as strictly being relevant to fat digestion, but they have this dual role at facilitating um, protein digestion. I think that's why so commonly people will take a protein shake and they'll say, oh, I can't have whey because whey upsets my stomach. And I'll always tell them, well, what happens if you eat the whey with fat? You know, like, like God intended, perhaps. Uh, then you, then they, they suddenly don't have those issues so commonly. So whether it's just the digestive, digestive benefit or not, the fact is clear Protein ha alone has an anabolic effect. Protein and fat has an additive anabolic effect, but you don't get that when you have protein and carb. There's a study done looking at protein with maltodextrin, and there was no further muscle protein synthesis when the maltodextrin was added than the protein alone. And once again, we're left saying, well, that makes some sense because in nature, the best proteins don't come with carbs. They only come with fat. Dairy is the perfect food for growth. That is why mama mammal makes it for a baby mammal. Milk is the only food that is high in all three macronutrients. Dr. Bickman says, I am grown. I don't drink milk. It has a decent amount of sugar. I don't need it for growth. But he says, I am very favorable to my kids drinking whole milk. I am more interested in fermented dairy. 
Bacteria, like cancer cells, love sugar. I love cheese. Evidence shows that adults drinking whole milk are metabolically healthier than those drinking skim milk. One could easily overdo it on yogurt because the typical ones have as much sugar as ice cream. Typical flavored yogurts are low fat and high sugar. Some have as much as 30 grams of carbs. There are some great exceptions. For example, Siggy's Triple Cream and Icelandic Scar. They have as few as six grams of carbs. Protein and fat, a natural combination. In nature, protein always comes with fat. If you find a protein without fat, someone has stripped it out, like whey protein powder with low fat milk. Plants don't give real proteins. Animal protein is the best by any standard. Fat helps you digest protein better. The bile acids facilitate protein digestion. People will say, I cannot use whey protein drink. Question, what if you take the protein with fat? Answer, they don't have those issues anymore. Protein alone has an anabolic effect. Protein and fat together have an additive anabolic effect. A recent study shows that carbs and protein together have no additive anabolic effect. 